And good evening. Welcome to the Gary Brodsky Show, starting two minutes late. Those of you who watch on YouTube won't even know that. Okay, I am here tonight to talk about the crisis today of dating, and it is in crisis. First of all, let's take an overall view of what people act and look like today. This explains a lot of the crisis. Okay, a lot of people, I look around, they start to look like fucking mutants. All right, they're not quite human looking. They let themselves get overweight. They have this attitude. And that's really sad that cats, computers, I touch, whatever fuck out there, has replaced dating, romance, love, affection, and all that goes with it. But look at people's faces. You don't see a strong face anymore on a guy or a passionate, loving, kind face on a woman. It's all attitude. All not good attitude. All this smugness, nastiness, incivility. And it worked. They planned it for you. <laughs> and you fell for it. Well, you got to stop falling for it. You have got to stop falling for it. And when I say crisis in dating, I mean just that. Crisis in dating. You don't have anybody come back and go, wow, it's not a great day tonight. We went here. We were laughing. We had fun. We went back to our place. No, I don't hear that. I don't hear that from men. And from women, I don't hear, hey, wow, I met this guy. He was really cool. We went out. I was laughing. We were going crazy all night. You know, I can't go to work tomorrow. I'm just a little out of it. What a wild time. Nope, don't hear that anymore, do you? Discos, dancing, where the hell did that all go? Disappeared. Why? No one was showing up. Too busy being right about something. Very important to people these days. Being right about something. <laughs> Sorry if the chair creaks. Deal with it. And the big problem is the lack of alpha guys. There's no alpha guys out there. Very few. They watch the show. That's how I know. You see guys, look at them. I'm serious. They look like mutants. Yeah, you know, I, I can't even take the faces yet. I'm working on it. Uh, yeah, I am working on it. Worse than that, okay? We had those when we were younger, but there were very few. Guys, you know, the jerks, the morons, the geeks, whatever you want to call them. You know who I'm talking about. They could not get dates. But those are very few. Now it almost seems like a badge of honor to be an annoying, immature dick. Okay? I can't find better words. And I was in a, an appliance store today to get a charger for my phone. And just one normal looking person in there, male and female, one normal looking guy. That's funny. Uh, if he's watching, I can send you tune in. Everybody's walking around name tags. Totally zombified. And they say, Can I help you? I said, No, I have answer me help because they had a name tag. Normal looking guy. And they said, Okay. They knew which guy was a normal looking guy. That's how bad it's gotten. So I asked her, I said, You know, any pretty girls in here? I said, Because they look like they're almost pretty, but something went wrong. He went, Oh man, it's a nightmare. I can't take their attitudes. And inversely, women cannot take men's attitudes today because men's attitudes are very similar to women's. And I'll explain. With all the xenoestrogen out there, BPA, Pessinole, you can check it out, read about it, BPA, come right up on Google, on YouTube. It is really destroying what makes a man a man. And it is oversexing women, which would be a good thing if a guy knew how to act like a man, so they have attitudes and contempt for anybody male who's not alpha. Just the way it is. Science. Can you beat it? Yeah, you can. Will you? Probably not. You couldn't care less. That's the way it works. People don't care anymore. Ambition in the toilet. And I would love to hear a good dating story. Not all what these other guys talk about. How to take out a girl and spend no money. Why? If you can afford it, Take her out in style. That worked for centuries. Nope. 
be an asshole, immature guy saying, it's only Starbucks. This is what they tell you. And I'm doing it in their voice. It's only Starbucks and only one coffee. That's all I'm paying for. Yeah, real alpha, real cool, real James Bond, real suave. You get tons of women with that shit. Oh, I got to tell you that. I'm being facetious. For those of you who plan to try it, don't. Being alpha, you don't have to spend any money. But if you have it, spend it. And if you don't, remember the thing, hey, big spend a sport. No, this guy, he's, you know, you know, all it was about was taking something to a really nice restaurant. If you know how to talk, which there is no excuse for now that Gary Brass said, Tom has all those great how to talk uh, audio programs up there, how to talk to women, etc. They're all up there. You wouldn't have any problem on a date. But guys do have some problems. I'm going to give some free advice. One, most guys talk too fast, which sounds like a woman, which irritates the shit out of them. Okay, there's your free advice for tonight. Get anything to do with talking to women and only, and I'm being serious, the GaryBronski.com products. Because the other guys sing, and they sound like this. Here's how you talk to women. Come on, you're going to take them seriously? Give me a break. Yep, no music tonight again. Just mentioning that for those waiting for the song. <laughs> He's a long wait. Uh, I'll tell you something else. Freedom of speech. You have it. There really is no law against it, okay? It seems like there is because we are all following a new religion. Yes, it's called political correctness. And I just wanted to mention that you cannot ever meet a woman, have a relationship, or bring out the passion anybody being politically correct. And now we'll see if there's any questions. And for those of you who don't know how to ask me questions, Gary Brodsky, 123 at AOL.com. And now I'm checking for questions. Hey, hey, here they are. And they're there. Ryan, good evening. How are you? Hi, Gary. Girls at my job are constantly giving me green lights. Send me an application. I want to work that too, okay? Touching, eye contact, short and long, feet pointed at me, compliments, favors, etc. When I try to, ah, here's, here's, here's the catch, huh? When I try to escalate the situation, they get shy on me. I don't understand how women can feel comfortable flirting with somebody, but when they f flirt back, they retreat. This cycle perpetually repeats itself. What am I doing wrong? Glad you asked. Uh, I'm going to try to answer because I don't work there. They give you the signals, but you're probably not taking control. You're probably asking. And asking is polite, and it's nice, and it seems right. But when you ask, you ask permission. Say, hey, I'm taking out Thursday. And she goes, no, Friday. You got the date already because she said, Okay, just can't make it Thursday. But if you ask, it's like they're so sick, of, and it's not your fault, of men asking, is it okay if I take you out? Guys actually do this. Is it all right if I come over tonight? So you may be taking an approach that's not super alpha, which you need to be today, by the way. I need a chair, but that's another story. So instead of saying, you know, flirting back, just say, I'm taking you out tonight. And throw in a first name. Makes them feel valuable. And it really does make a difference. They say, hey, Jolene, taking you out Thursday. Say it in a slow voice. Almost like a command. Not like, yo, I'm taking you out Thursday. No. Hey, taking you out Thursday. Hold the eye contact. Don't stand directly in front of them. Why? Anybody standing directly in front of somebody, 80% of people feel it's confrontational. So stand to the side and hit from the side. Not with the hand, of course. And try telling her she's dating you. It might work. It probably will. Or get their phone number. Call her home. Hey, I'm thinking about you. Got to take you out. Got to take you out. There's no wiggle room. When you ask, there's wiggle room. 
and they're so scared of dating today, they need a guy who's going to assume, hey, I got the, it's okay, I have this much confidence, I'll take you out. And we all know the biggest aphrodisiac out there, outside the MK17 products, and all the MK products, is confidence. It's just the world has gone crazy, Ryan. I apologize. I did not do it. I know who did, and I'm apologizing for that. I hope I got uh, a good answer in there. GR, how you doing? Good evening, Gary. Good evening, GR. Thank you for doing the show. I agree entirely with you. Men are undersexed, and women are totally oversexed. This results in terrible attitude and occasional explosions from women. Is humor the best way in dealing with those explosions? Humor is the best way in dealing with almost everything. Now, I don't know if you've heard this, I haven't said it in a while. The bench press analogy. I do a pretty good bench press. If I'm mad, I could do it. If I'm unhappy that day, I could do it. If I'm in a good mood, I could do it. Somebody cracks a joke, boom, right back down on my chest. Why? When somebody's laughing, they have no defense, and everything will be processed as good. You think of any experience in your life that you laughed at, no matter how bad it was, it's, you're going to have good memories, because when you laugh, you have no defense. We used to do horrible jokes to my brother, you know, Palehead, and he would come out and kick the crap out of me. Broke my nose a few times, you can probably see that. I'm getting the teeth back. Nose, it's going to be a job. But, uh, I think that is funny experiences because when you're laughing, you have no defense. And to anybody else, when a woman is laughing, that's when you go forward. Napoleon said it best, a woman laughing is a woman conquered. Take it from a guy who almost took over the world. He knew something about something. Sorry, too many questions. Night. Just kidding. Wow. Matt, how are you? Just checking in. Thanks. Uh, thanks for doing the show. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching it. I've seen the ad for some new film called Her. From what I gather from the ad, this looks good, right? Really. It's about a guy falling in love with a computer system. Ooh. If that doesn't make you say, what the hell is this world coming to? Nothing will. That does. Make you say, what the hell is this world coming to? I went to get a shake the other day. I like shakes. And everybody in the store, including employees, are walking around staring at their cell phones. Now, I've had this for a while. I'm not eligible for an upgrade, by the way. And I see no point to staring at it. I tried. Nothing happens. But that's how people have become. That's why there's no dating stories, there's no great passion stories. If you owned a disco or a motel right now, you'd be out of business. Um, people go to computers for dates. I think that's so disgusting. Unless you live in the most rural area and have absolutely no contact with anybody outside. Uh, one of my friends lived in an area where only had one girl in town. <laughs> he told me that was the one. But because people have become socially inept, socially completely disaster that's why you have very little going on in the social world yes you have social media you have Twitter you have Facebook got any real women well thanks for the question Matt. Chris good evening Mr. Brodsky I came up with this quote after Friday's webinar this is my message to them. Okay, you got to do it. 1776 will commence again as you try to take our balls. Oh, it doesn't matter how many lemmies out there. You know, she's begging to have them taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? Now, I'm glad you brought that up. That's from the... Uh, Alex Jones versus Piers Morgan. And Alex Jones was acting like any guy acted in the 60s, 70s, 50s, all the way back to the beginning of time. They changed the way men act. They changed the way 
men relate. They've changed the way men look. It's fightable. It's beatable. But if you don't do shit about it, nothing is going to happen. Get to GaryBrodsky.com. Everything's for sale during the duration of this show. Some price at a dollar ninety-seven. Why? I am really. I just can't take it anymore. See, the other guys have marketing companies. This, that, I don't have that. Why? Number one, the politically correct mainstream media—they don't like me. That's a badge of honor. I really. I wish I had a badge. Well, anyway, badges. <laughs> we don't need those things. Badges. Anyway, they don't like me. And uh, Lonnie, yes, we do. We have two left. So uh, I'm just letting you know that. I can go tomorrow. And let me just quick take a quick soda break because I know everybody here is waiting. But, you know, what we become socially, and, you know, talking about women being oversexed, yeah, they are. Which, for a guy who knows how to act the correct way, <laughs> it's great. And I hear so many women, the complaints are the same. He's a jerk off. He's a moron. But to break that down, you'll have to hold on. What that means is he asks permission for everything. I run his life. I run his thoughts. I have an audio program on being pussy whipped. And, you know, when I first came out with that, which was only a couple of months ago, there were guys that were pussy whipped by women. So a particular woman. Now, guys are pussy whipped by the genre. They're pussy whipped without even knowing a woman. I really recommend getting that one. And you'll read the signs and say, wow, yeah, it could happen to anybody. I've been pushing it twice in my life. Believe me, it is the worst possible pain aside from yeah, something horrible you can think of. But you actually go crazy. You lose your identity, yourself, and a lot of people have that. And I suggest getting it back. Okay, this checks for uh, updates. Anyway, where was the phone? Not me, okay? Aha! Smoking Halo. Smoking Joe. Hey, Gary, hope you had a great week. Hope you had a better one, too. I heard you mention uh, before about being, about shoes being important. The more pointy, the better. Is this all subconscious effect? Yes. I've got some pointy toe boots as a birthday gift, so could you elaborate on this a bit? Thanks. Uh, yeah, if you look at any sex symbol from James Bond on down, they don't wear round-toed shoes. Women judge, okay, if you're going to wear round-toed biker boots, okay, Women judge men by one article of clothing. Well, it should be by more, but um, shoes are a big part of it. I don't know why. I just know it is. Like, I don't know why I just got your message, but I know I just got it. Now, there's certain, you know, I was reading something about this, and I have not done doing all the research on, on shoes, but uh, if you wear, let's say, jeans and sneakers, you know what that was signals to women? Anybody? No, I, I, I get the... Uh, Intelligence update, so you wouldn't get that stuff. So I report it back to you. It's okay to wear it with somebody you know because it means that they think you're a father. If you look at most fathers who are out pushing carriages these days while their wife works, supports them, tells them what to do, what to eat, how to act, you know, I know some guys like that. I would hang out with them, but they're not allowed. Uh, <laughs> that signals father. If you're wearing pointy shoes, somehow the it, it just triggers. Well, if you got the pointy boots, you'll see. I don't know why, but I know it works. I say, I know a good clean shave. Well, I just have to talk because you got that. You know what I got? I got a real barber's razor. Look at this shave, huh? I'm not going to kill myself, but anyway, that's scary. 
But uh, back to some more questions. Well, GR, you just, uh, I'm not going to read this, this, this uh, question, but just for you, buy one and go throw in a new super one free. Okay, that's just for you, so no, I'm not, that's why I'm not repeating the question. I don't care if you buy the least expensive one, it doesn't matter, because you're always at these shows and stuff like that. So buy one, and I have the best one that I keep for myself here, and I have one old one. I'm not going to mention the name. That is on the house. That's how I lose partners. I give stuff away. And they're so bottom line oriented, and people like so obsessed with basically fictitious digit, digits that, that don't even mean anything. But uh, I'm glad I invented money for one reason. Although you have to hang around with your girlfriend all day, or wife, or whatever. Now, guys, that's why guys work to the 500 years old. Because women can drive you crazy. That's what I love about them. I really, you know, I, I used to, you know, no, I actually never did. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, which is good. I cannot blame women. Men were supposed to be the leaders. That's the way it's created. It doesn't matter what somebody writes or somebody says. Men have to be the leaders. And if a woman has an attitude, you know what to do? Get up, walk out. One of my favorite things to do. This is an all-time feeling great move. We're using props tonight. This is my telephone. I've been plugged in for three days. I don't care. It's like, I need to get in. Get in, get in. Click. End of it. I just hang up. I don't need to hear that shit. You don't need to hear that shit. They give you shit. Hang up. Don't try to argue out their shit. Well, you think, maybe if I did this, fuck this. Really, never approach a woman thinking, well, what if she doesn't go out with me? Who cares? That's like taking a person who went fishing and you only caught sunfish and you wanted a bass. You know, it was, no, it's not personal. It's a game. A game that's played to win. Want to win? GaryBrowski.com, that's right. Hey, Bo Johnson, all right. Not only is Bo Johnson the most offensive, meanest, nastiest character on the cell phone, but he is in real life. <laughs> I'm laughing, I don't know what he said yet. I fail to see the allure of technology. Technology enhances the quality of lives. It allows us to travel faster than sound. It can even restore people's hearing. But sometimes you have to turn it all off and use all five of your senses to get through the day and actually experience what you're encountering around you. P.S. Yes. On the P.S. Oh, you're absolutely right. Yes, technology is there to be part of life, not to be your life. You know, the biggest threat now I get from people is like, oh, really? Yeah? Take you off my Facebook. Oh, no, 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 not that. Not that. Not taking me off of Facebook. Yep, you're going to be defriended tonight. Excuse me while I drink this. Get your questions in now. Get to GaryBrowse.com now. I'm going to be drinking this. I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on. That's how it works. One bottle done. Bottle number two coming up. Yes, soda is bad for you. Who cares? That's my attitude. But I am very against drugs. I don't know why I brought that up. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Soda is not going to destroy my life. It's not going to make me fat. And it's not going to get me thrown into prison. Drugs, I have seen destroy lives. And plus, we pretty much know who's behind the whole drug operation. I'm not going to say anything. 
we don't I don't want to give them my business my life my soul Sit, be sitting around the bathroom talking to strangers stealing stuff from people just to pay for drugs drugs you want to fight New World Order stop buying drugs I don't think too many people here actually buy drugs or stuff I really want to really hurt them stop watching television and stop buying drugs it's funny because pharmacia anybody know what pharmacia means let's see no I don't know what it means okay no thanks for answering so fast so you're saying uh, I'll answer that fast pharmacia Okay, pharmacia, and I get to your question, Matt, in one second, is taken out of the Bible. It, when they say you should not practice occult or sorcery, the actual translation is pharmacia, which means mixing drugs to poison the body. You check that out too on Google. There's no secrets anymore. So, pharmacia is the use of drugs that prohibit your mind from functioning. 100%. That is what people consider the occult. But occult only means hidden. So I just want to make that clear. Now we have, the percentage keeps going higher, 30 something percent people on antidepressants. You know something? The mind is not made to be miserable, but you can be talked into it. That's why I don't, I have never gone to a doctor in my life. When I was born, I didn't have a choice. When Pale had broke my nose, didn't have a choice. Outside of broken bones, no, never. And, uh, yeah, I'm still going to die, too. And I, I have friends with doctors, and they tell me, yeah, you're making a smart decision. But I have gone to exorcists, and it works. Um, there actually was an article in the 1970s, exorcists versus doctors, who got more benefits and believe it or not it was the exorcist it came out right after the movie the exorcist they just want to see and i know i'm getting biblical here which is going to cost me some customers but i don't care and i have witnesses and i have people i can bring on one of the webinars they've seen a lot of healings done by exorcism it works a lot better because that's what the whole bible is about acts laying hands on people Believing them well when they're sick. See, doctors won't do that. A very, very big power move there. You can do that for yourself too. Believing yourself well, even when you're sick, has proven to cure people. But when a doctor sees you sick, it's like, hey, here's a couple of thousand bucks. And right now they need it with the new health care plan. I get a little leery of uh, policies. My health care plan is simple. I use God. That's my plan. If I have to start submitting forms, another story. And there are some healing uh, audios on GaryRath.com that do work. I get testimonials all the time. And a lot of them are on that uh, itself. So, yeah, depression, failure, all that, curable. And it's all GaryBrass.com. You have to look around, navigate on the audio programs. It works. All right, Matt. Okay, question here. Gary, can I have more than one request per candle? Uh, I wouldn't. If you were requesting women, you can make, yeah, requests for more women. You can hit up to five, I found, maybe even eight successfully. But you don't want to dilute it. You can't ask for many women and money on the same candle. You can't. It just can't carry the weight. Oh, black candle, nine things. Nine different problems. I didn't read the whole question. I apologize. Nine is the real number of deaths. I can start bringing up statistics about that, but... Uh, okay, I will. Look at every rock star who died at age 27. Seven to two is nine. You know, and that is where, you know, 
These are the book of Numbers on that, right out of the Bible. Jim Morrison, 27, Kurt Cobain, 27, um, Jimi Hendrix, 27, all of them, 27. And most of them died on May 1st, which is a witch's Sabbath called Beltane. Chris, how you doing? All right. I spent a lot of time watching TV. I spent a lot of time watching TV at all. Okay, I must be without. Okay, I'm not wearing my glasses, Chris. I spent a lot of time without watching TV at all. I visited with some family, and the TV was on. Some of the commercials annoyed the fuck out of me. I didn't realize how much deprogram I went through until recently. This is why I don't pay for cable. Why the fuck should I pay for the privilege of being stupefied? Chris, I think Chris is like some of the greatest words I've ever read. People don't only pay for it, they fight for it. That's why, and you know, again, back to cardio. Think about it. I'm, I'm all for cardio. Not on a cardio machine, though. Boxing is cardio. Jumping up and down is cardio. Dancing is cardio. Can you see uh, the Marines? All right, let's go. We're going to get into shape here. Oh, get on your cardio machines. It would look really funny if it actually got people to shape. But think of what cardio does. And I and David, I agree on this one. In fact, he brought it to my attention. Yeah, you credit where it's due. You got somebody running in place, going nowhere, watching TV being programmed at the same time, while their breath and heart rate go up. So their adrenaline is going to take it in even stronger and make it more powerful. Brilliant way to fuck the mind up. Arnold Schwarzenegger, no cardio. Bruce Lee, no cardio. Muhammad Ali, no cardio. Joe Namath, no cardio machines. How'd they do it? Hey, John, how are you? I'm so glad you can make it. It's a known fact that less a man does, a woman will want you more. The attitude you have about life is an impeccable, unpredictable manner. Better continue with joy and prosperity or else an overflow river of confusion will swallow you whole. Brilliant, thank you. And this is from John. He's a man I respect and admire. Get Gary's product. Get straight to business now. All right, thanks, John. You better listen to John, otherwise I'll fuck you up, okay? Gary, thank you so much. I am honored at your generosity. No problem. It will work. I do it all the time. All the time. Jason, can you talk about mojo bags? Yes, I'd love to actually. What is a mojo bag? Oh, it's a secret. No, it's not a secret at all. The guys that tell you, oh, it's a secret. Those guys, I don't, I don't, I don't trust. I, uh, what's in a mojo bag is basically crystals, herbs, and other things that attract things. And we all know crystals are what's still used today in transmitting, in changing vibration. You have no idea how powerful crystals are. I'm just getting into it. And herbs, well, you know, herbs are basically what is behind everything in life. And herbs pick up certain things. Telegraph, fine. It's all been, this is around since the beginning of recorded time. The uh, American Indians had them. Every culture that had given up has died. Okay, how about that? All right, got a comment coming in a strange way. But, uh, okay. Max, good evening. <laughs> Too fun to read, Max. Thank you. I do a lot of research all the time, day and night. Uh, since I'm 22, I work with U.S. intelligence, and I have not stopped researching, and they supply me a lot of my information. I don't just come up with it. 
I sit there and read and read and read and research probably most of the day and night. Occasionally I will watch an episode of uh, Sons of Anarchy. But research, you have to. It's like if you go to a doctor, they have to know how, how to work every part of your body. And this is what I do, I do research. I don't just have big marketing, hey, now you can get laid. No. Push the right buttons. That's what Gary Bryce comes all about. How to push the right buttons in any situation. Hey, Gary, I may have to record a break song for you about you smoking and drinking soda so you can play something while you smoke and drink your soda. Huh, it's not a joke. I would love to have somebody do some music. I would love to play it, promote it, you know, but it can't be something that anybody else did. I use my own song, and they, they got me for that. Like, and there's no one to talk to. So, uh, yeah, whatever you do. Hey, Gary, there's a certain version of the Bible that you recommend. I know you said, and research ancient texts and on. I've heard it's been changed over time to better control the masses. And whatnot. Thanks again. Actually, it has been used to control the masses. But if you read it on your own, they usually don't read a lot of Wow, I never knew that was in here. They only read certain stuff, and that's part of the 501c3 deal. Separation of church and state, yeah, right. That was to protect the churches. It didn't work out. You preach from the wrong uh, passages of the Bible. Um, you lose your church. And uh, I have, uh, if you want to check it out, Gary's Church. It's uh, type in Gary's Church. I don't accept any donations, and it's not about money. They can't deal with that. It's about, this is what you do on Sunday. You go out and do stuff for people. Paint their house, read to them if they're sick, whatever you can do. That's the donation. Churches have become control institutes because the government controls them. The government controls everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, you know, shake them up sometimes on the MK products. I just naturally shake stuff up. I was going to shake the soda up and pull it all over myself, but I just didn't feel like doing it at the time. <laughs> you know, everything needs a little shaking now and then, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. I don't even think guys do that anymore. Yeah, you know, I, I just remember when I was younger, being with women was always about laughter, fun, teasing, flirting. You know, it's it's when you got the right frame of mind, which you should have, and it's something that now needs continuous refreshing, even with me, because the world has changed so much. I remember when I was younger, uh, going on a date, and then uh, this is in Louisiana. We didn't have a place to go back to, so we'd say, okay, whose house can we break into? That if they caught us, they wouldn't be that mad at us. And, you know, the lock was, uh, you know, one of those little hook things. So I, I just had to hit the door just right and get the hood to flip open. And it was easy to get caught because the woman would come out. Okay, who's using my bed, huh? Because I didn't have a good accent. And... I was always very good at covering my tracks by cracking up immediately. And the moon wouldn't get me to also, who's the lucky lady up there? So they spoke. <laughs> I never said this. I said this to one woman once. I said, your daughter. She said, oh, really? Was she any good? True story. And the girl's like, oh, I can't believe it. You know, the same stuff. We're still in touch today. Still in touch. I remember I was young. I was really in love with this girl. And I wrote her a poem. And I wound up sleeping with her before. I was able to give the poem. So I just rewrote it with somebody else's name. A couple weeks later. Forget that. I did, yeah, I was. Uh, you gotta be a prick. 
He got to be. Women love a prick. That's why how to be a prick is on sale right now. Yeah. Okay, you have to do that, yeah. I like to show off my, my toys. This is one of them. No, you don't put requests inside the Ogun pot. You just talk into the pot. Now, that all sounds funny. But that's where the word pot law came from. And from the word Ogun, the word gun, goon, shogun. It's been around a long time. But I must make my... Uh, Guarantee, if for any reason any of the products on GaryRotsky.com don't work, at any time you can ask for your money back and it will be carefully refunded. Plus, we will send you the knife to cut it off with. That's a guarantee that nobody else will give you. And no questions about where can I get that knife. I'll tell you how old this knife is. I bought this in Brooklyn when they were legal. When you went to a cigar store and they had this behind the counter. This was the $7 job. There's no edge to it anymore, but it, it looks great. You know, it's, it, it's a man's toy. Men play with men's things. No, I'm not telling what it sounds like. Men's play with, with, men, with men's toys. You know, it's just really funny because, you know, See this little guy on here. What kind of car are you drive? A Prius. It just doesn't seem masculine. Because when we were younger, we didn't get cars to impress girls. We gave up on girls for us. Sorry, I got a car. Can't talk to you now. That only made them want you more. Because when you have a passion greater than a woman, she's going to want you a lot more. Okay, let's get some questions in here. Gary Brodsky, 123 at AOL.com. And Bo, where are you when we need you? Otherwise, it's sort of break time without music. Oh, okay, so he needs to update. Let me shake this thing up. Christine, good evening. Most men today are like little kids, just like you say. We need, more, we need more men to alpha up and who gladly give ourselves over, but they just don't. Please alpha up. Us women want you. Christine, send me a picture. We'll talk. Okay, let's check again. Just updated. Christina, I play a song for you, but I can't. So what you have to do is go turn the radio. Whatever song comes on, that's for me to do, okay? Okay, it's uh, an inside joke. But it's funny. I'll get to that in a second. But, you know, you look, look at car windows. You know, do your own research. So you'll see guys driving alone, or two guys. You don't see a guy and a girl driving anymore. And years ago, even in happy days, good example, you saw the guy with his arm around the girl, one arm on the car. And people, oh, that was dangerous. No, texting or driving is dangerous. Well, driving 50 miles an hour, you'll do a little typing, you know. That's dangerous. Holding a girl is not that dangerous, but they make sure you don't. Because there used to be a little shift on the thing. That was fine. No, now I had this big console with this big shifter. Why? For a drink holder? Uh-uh. They plan this. Every car you have now, today, anything new, is tracked in the way you are. You know, the only benefit to that is if you don't know where you park your car, just call up the NSA. Now I can't find my car. I'll try it. But seriously, it's getting scary out there because people are really enthusiastic about sports. They get so passionate about it. Get passionate about something that matters. 
mainly yourselves. Ah, I, <laughs> I am so sorry, John. I thought you were an attorney. He has a very similar email address. <laughs> avoiding it, and I do apologize. So, if that email is uh, from you, John, I do apologize. I thought you were some lawyer who was after me, which is not an uncommon thing in my life, tragically. Uh, can you please send me an email again? Because if I open them up on here, it somehow just disappear. And uh, I would love to get back to you. And just tell me what hours I can because we definitely should talk. This man knows his shit. Okay, uh... I'm going to read who said this. I actually have to forgive a lot of stuff that I said about gay people. And I'll tell you why. Because the BPA and the chemicals and stuff they're putting in people are really gender-confusing gender people. I have nothing against gay people. Now I have something against people who create the fluoride, create the bisphenol A, create all the chemicals that have made guys gay. They're doing it to piss off God. They say satanic, Satan worshippers, and uh, you see a lot more gay people. I'm not pro gay demonstrations, stuff like that. I'm not pro any demonstrations. And you know, in fact, when people say, "Do I think the government should get you know gay rights?" I don't think the government should be involved in anybody. There's, there's one rights. Everybody's entitled to them. Basically, that's it. There's no special rights to anybody. But I have done some research recently with Alex Jones, believe it or not, and they are making it chemically almost impossible for guys to be straight. you got to really fight out of it. And I've had two experiences where I've actually helped gay guys become straight. And now that I know that it's chemically induced, especially by young mothers, and, and it's just taking effect now, that I have only something against the people who are engineering people. That's why you have to be on your game now and engineer yourself to be more alpha. Whatever it takes. You know, I've changed a lot of views because I do a lot of research. Like, Holy shit, they're manufacturing gay people. They have gay fish now. You can read about it. Gay frogs. Stephen Hawking did an experiment made two gay cats. I am just so glad I didn't put them up on his website. They're not opening up this one. Okay, no, it's absolutely true. And that's why you will chemically get bitch tits, not real pecs like this. I ask people with Morse code. If you don't work out, if you don't hit a heavy bag, if you don't really, you know, you almost have to work out now. Heavy weights, moderately heavy, now not like, ugh, you know, just so you can, because that burns out. You know, you see a lot of guys walking around, stomachs out the hair. Why? Hormonal imbalance. I have some products on that coming out soon. And, uh, you know, research is not cheap, so please hit GaryBrowski.com now. Because uh, I plan to really do whatever I can to stop the insanity that used to be called life. All right, GR, thank you. Right in the description is exactly what it does. You know, er everything has a scent to it. You know, you, you know, men had a scent and a vibration. And unless you alpha up, you don't have one. So they see you as a cartoon character, and you are treated as such. Look at the faces on girls when they're with a guy. You tell. I saw only one last month, which she's really into the guy. The rest like, this fucking idiot. You don't want to be that guy. 
You have to worry on how to get out of the friend zone. Excellent. Done with Scotty, my pal. Who used to get stuck in the friend zone a lot? Since, you know, he went out there, he did the research. You know, people always say, hey, you know, Scotty does a lot of the uh, experimenting for you, and he gets a lot of great results. He gets a lot of women. Uh, can I be uh, your guy who does, yeah, you do your research on? I tell him. You don't know, stuff that didn't work or what happened to Scott. But, uh, you know, he has done this. And he still does it because it's still funny. He was trying out every, uh, you know, dating service on that they have, the online dating. To see if he can get one normal day out of it. It's been like four years now, maybe going on five. The worst dates. And he has tons of women. He'll, like, skip. Uh, you know, he sent me a picture of a woman. It's like the hottest woman I have ever seen. She's like dying for him. She called me up. How come Scott can't see me tonight? I don't know, how'd you get my number? Not important. And uh, she, she is actually has some really hot videos out. She's somebody well known, so I'm not gonna say who she is. But she, I saw some pictures, amazingly hot. He's going out on these uh, computer dates and seeing just how bad they can get. And they are that bad. He comes back with the funniest stories. Yes, I did. And I'll call you tomorrow about that. She did not light this up. Hey, Bo, you out there? Wow, look how many people. I didn't even realize that. Hey, everybody. Gary Rocky, 123 If you want to ask a question. Apparently, not at the moment. Okay, let's talk about, I'm, ha I'm having a seminar coming out on how to say things, uh, how to use your voice. And I, I know I usually send it out at the last minute, and they usually sell out. This one is so researched, I'm not sure it'll be Thursday or something. But really, how you put your words in order when you speak is going to make a difference between a success or a failure in any endeavor. And... Let's face it, the biggest business deals are not done by texting. The greatest dates in the world are not done by texting, typing, or by email, okay? So, you're going to have to join this one. And what happened to the last one is everybody I know who works with Fortune 500 companies jumped all over it. Within an hour, sold out, 100 seats. I thought it amazing. Wow, isn't this guy the head of... Yeah, he's there. Why? Not because he doesn't know how. He doesn't know how to teach people how. So he had a lot of his employees on there. So I'll be doing it again. All right. Being alpha sends a signal into the universe. This is absolutely true. And both genders, which competes other beings to respond to you. Same as being a wimp. Absolutely true. It does send out. It's funny. If you feel successful, which is on Act As If and How To Act As If for sale right now at GaryRotsky.com. This is UpsideDown.com. Now it's Right.com. I'm so sorry. I'm sick of .com. But, uh, really, yeah, hit up GaryBots.com. Why? Because I'm taking a soda break. I just can't drink out of a bottle. I don't know why. But uh, during the soda break, hit up GaryBots.com, WealthPlusPower.com, and just check it out, as well as occultforce.com. If you think the occult doesn't work, here's a question for you. Why do you think the New World Order has always had occult practices? Egypt, occult practices. These guys have built empires. Whether you like them or not, the shit works. And I always say, if you don't think it works, 
just haven't tried it. Smoke in my eyes now, perfect time to have some soda. GaryBrowski.com, ColdForce.com, WealthPlusPower.com. And for those who want to hear something different, something that works, BrainTrainPower.com. Hear it enough, you'll become it. And that's an old known fact. Okay, got that one? Not opening up that one. Hey, Brent, good evening. Okay, good question, Brent. Then we get to my soul. Gary, good evening. I find that women are becoming more masculine. That is absolutely true. When testosterone drops in men, it goes up in women. Nature has a way of balancing itself. And they are lifting heavy weights more and more. How is this happening? Thanks, Brent. How? Because as men become weaker, nature will compensate. That's real evolution, not the bullshit that Darwin came up with. Darwin and the Galtons try to build their own master race. Why not with a pack of idiots? Yeah, every now and then, some nut job decides, I'm going to create a new race. Out of nowhere. And it gets funding. And winds up killing millions of people for no reason. I'm trying to recreate an old race. It's called the human race. Here already a member, so you don't have to worry. Occult writing is coming up Friday. And some of the things interesting, um, oh man, I'm giving away just one piece, is Oh, I can't just really give it out here, okay? Because nobody has ever, and I didn't do this one for many years. Now, before I started doing this stuff, and I still do it, I was writing a lot of occult books under a lot of different names. I didn't realize that no one has ever really addressed how to really do sacred writing. Yes, of course, you know, the white paper and the blue pen does work, but there's a much more powerful way to do it, and I think it's got to be all over the internet. Not one word. Not one word. I guess it is that good. Yes, I was going to light the soda and drink the cigarette. That would not have worked out perfectly. Let's hear some dating stories, anybody. Oops, wrong button. And <laughs> the weather's gonna be fine tomorrow. Yeah. No, anybody have any dating stories? Anybody been on a date recently? Gone out with a girl? Any girls gone out with a guy? Some funny stories on that? Anything. Cause women are funny, uh I was doing my special close shave with my new barber shaver. Oh yeah, I got this this woman here, she's like why do you have to use that? <laughs> yeah, it's just funny. See, guys will take that stuff seriously. I'm like, it's this thing with the brush and everything. She's like, outside the bathroom. I can't believe you're doing that. You with your shade. How many times a day are you going to shave? I don't know. As many as I want. That's how many times. Just, you don't pick up the shave and do any shaving downstairs because, you know, that's against the rules. Absolutely. A lot of good webinars coming up. A lot of good ones. A lot of great guests. It's, uh, a lot of stuff just cannot be said publicly. Why? We're just getting you know, like an overview here because YouTube pulls it down the really, you know, and ever give any great description of something. They cut it down. So basically, you're getting 
just a small, small slice here. Otherwise, your my material has been found inappropriate by the YouTube team. A team you don't really get to know about. Okay, I'm not opening that one. Lisa, you're right. Men are like fruitcakes today. Thanks, Lisa, for that great uh, piece there. Pretty much sums it up. <laughs> fruitcakes, okay. Um, see, women are the biggest victims of this. Holy shit, how many people are watching? Um, you can't see where they're coming from. Facebook, yeah, it's like the biggest attendance ever. When I do a promotion, nobody watches. When I just sneak up on you, yeah. Lisa again. <laughs> she likes the shirt. Thanks, Lisa. Okay, Lisa, any dating stories? Anybody? Really, the haircut Lisa. good. So we get another one on Tuesday. I, I just thought of something I forgot. This happens. But yeah, that happens to me a lot. That's why on the webinar, you don't see me, I could use notes. And I still sometimes forget, you know, I drop the notes, and now I have them all in order. So there'll be no uh, problems there. You know, you watch some of the old stuff, like Star Trek. The chair is turning, I think I need an exit here. But, uh, the old black and white, and you see people saying and doing things, because romance happens on those shows. The old Star Trek, the old black and white movies, within five minutes. That's how long it's supposed to still be. Not like I'm working on this girl, I get this all the time, I'm working on this girl for like seven, eight months. No, you got to move in quick. The quicker you move in, the less time defenses get to be built up, excuses, dismissals, and I have an audio on that called It's Seduction Make You Move Now. Because the longer you wait, the less your chances are. Of course, you know, guys are frightened to move in quick. They're, you know, and I understand that because you've been programmed to be. Change your own programming. It's on the audio. Yes, absolutely. You can change Anything about you, it's all up there at GaryBotsky.com. I know people ask me this. If you can change anything, why do you still smoke and drink soda? Because like I can lift 10 times what you can, I can kick the fucking crap out of you. How about that? They usually get quiet at that point. Because I can throw a uh, Cajun accent on, I can throw a Brooklyn accent on. The Brooklyn accent is always fun to pawn people. I got some questions here. I'll just do an example of it. What the fuck you just tell me? Huh? Come here, tell me that closer. I want it right here. They're gone. All right. Great question from Brett. Okay. Why are those dating gurus so feminized? Keep up the good work. Gary, you keep things real. Best, Brent. Thank you. The reason is, is that's what they want to do to society. Feminize men. So those guys come out, the more feminine you are, the more you'll get backing, funding, and financing. And that's why we need your support. GaryBrowski.com, OccultForce.com, BrainTrainPower.com. And I say we, yep, there is a company here. I'm not the only guy, I'm the only one you see. And we are not funded by the New World Order or by bankers' money or anything else, only by your uh, purchases. So, GaryBrowski.com, OccultForce.com, WealthPlusPower.com, BrainTrainPower.com, it's all there. And I just push the wrong button again, so now I gotta make this thing to recalculate. As I do that, Get people to sign up. 
to GaryRoth.com. Need more people because the other guys, is made, you know, they teach you basically after 17 hours of their bullshit is how to get a phone number. They don't teach you how to really pour on the romance. And, uh, How to go wind up in bed with a woman. They don't want you to go that far, huh? -uh. That could lead to the New World's Order worst nightmare for children. That's why I believe in the family. But you're not going to get a family if you're not going to get a date. Now, here's a dating story. Yeah, I dated a girl for a while, then told her she never wants to. Then she told. Wait, okay. Now I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay, nice shape, right? Gary, I dated a girl for a while. Then told, then told she I never. It's not mine. It's not me. Okay, I'm trying to read this. <clears throat> Hello, Gary. I dated a girl for a while. Then told she never want to see me again. For like an animal in Star Trek, I guess. And a couple of days later, I was in bed with another girl. All right. And she got mad because I never came over to jump to bed. Hey, thanks. Okay, at least somebody's sleeping with women out there. That's Jason, by the way. I know he is, because sometimes we're talking, oh, I got to see this girl. Goodbye. Click. He's dating. One of the rare people. But the people watching show tend to date. But I want to hear some wild dating stories, because I got to run in a few minutes. I drink more soda. I haven't eaten yet today. Like I can. Yeah, I don't have a normal life because I'm a research addict. Because most people, you know, you live in this world that you know how it works. Just, you know, an opinion. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Again. Get the lucky one, it'll handle both. I'll tell you how well the lucky one worked. I had the Lucky Mojo bag years ago. These are not new uh, products. They've just uh, been around forever. But I'm one of the few people who have them. And I said, I'm going to test this out. I went to a mob card game, borrowed money from a loan shark, to go in there. Which if I lost the money, it would have been a lot of problems for me. They were playing five card stud, two down, three up. I got two fives in the hole, two fives on board. First hand. Yeah, you know, something about winning the first hand, poison pot, all bullshit. Not only did I win the pot, which the first pot I was able to pay the loan shark back. But royalties were $100 each, seven players, $600 plus the pot, $2,000 somehow change. I borrowed $2,000 to get in. I kept the change, gave the guy back $2,000. I went on a winning streak that had people pissed off. Like, I can't believe this motherfucker's winning every fucking hand. I was getting, you know, I had like, you know, a straight flush, not royal, up to the king. So yeah, does it work? Yes. And now, what have I gotten for that? Nobody will play poker with me anymore. I'm serious. I've had one game out here, as I'm in Connecticut, took one every hand, not every hand, one, took everybody's money. The game ended early. And I said, you're a car shark, you can't come back. I don't know what you do, how you do it, or some, what magic you work. Yeah, I, I know. Least likes the haircut. But these I look good with another haircut. Thank you, Lisa, whoever the heck you are. Send me a picture, please. I will not show it to anybody. Okay. Tile cigarettes. I have these reminders on there.
All right. GaryBrodsky.com. How many times do I have to say it? Dating stories. Come on. I should have said that. Nothing. My obsession was... Never mind. Uh, join the Gary Brodsky Revolution, where if you want women to look like real women, no shades down below, read all about it. It's there to make you want to slowly induct your mind into wanting to see women as little girls. It is a sickness that has to be stopped. All those women had, you know, a downstairs since the beginning of time. Only in the last 15 years, why would you shave them? So they don't look like women anymore. And guys fell for it. Because now guys aren't that intimidated because why? They look like little girls. Uh, no, there are no suggestions there. It just does what it says. And it does work. It has been used everything. And it was, but everything in your body has a vibrational frequency. Look at Emoto's work. Dr. Emoto, let's look it up. And it can be healed with sound. The sound is so important. But uh, that's for another day, another time, another place. Why am I talking like Captain Kirk? I don't know. Um, I have a dating story. Well, it's from John. I wouldn't expect. Yeah, of course. I used your products, learned how to dick whip women, and literally fuck two to four women every day. They'd get pissed off if I didn't fuck them for more than four days. And I know this guy, and I know what he's saying is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. I have to know him very well. And he has used my products and applies them. This is a big difference. Uh, GR, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, getting down to the final wrap up here. And uh, all I have to say is I, I want to plug the MK products and um, all the products at GaryBrowski.com occultforce.com, braintrainpower.com, you can get them all. If you hear it enough, and this is this is a, you know, a little bit of a secret. It's not really a secret. But if somebody goes, you know something? You're really good at this. All of a sudden you become good at it. Isn't that amazing? No, it's how the mind works. And I find that amazing. And that's what braintrainpower.com uh, is about. It tells you enough. If your mind it believes it, You'll become it. Gary, thanks for your show and great products. God bless you, Jason. He's on a date. I'm dating so he comes back. And the show's not going to last that long. But thank you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad. So many people having success with the products because they fucking work, okay? That's my advertising plug. They fucking work. What can we do to defend ourselves in the New World Order? Thanks. Very simple. Think of what the New World Order is against. Love, romance, they kill that. Start putting it back into your life. They don't want gender. Be more masculine. Be more alpha. That fights them. Be more aggressive. They're trying to take the aggression out of people. That's how you fight them. Don't buy drugs off the street. That's how you, you stop supporting them. Be bold. They hate that.
Really? That, that, that's the way to fight them, in my opinion, is everybody fall in love. They can't deal with that. In the 1960s, that had ended with Operation Chaos because they couldn't stand the people falling in love. I mean, we can't have that. That kills our agenda. That is why I do this. That is why I am running sales all the time. I don't like them either. And unless we start doing this stuff, they are going to win. Okay, I'm going to have one more cigarette and then I'm out of here. Well, hey, Chris, thank you. It will do what it says. When I was a kid, helicopter. I'm not a kid anymore, but I act like one. Yeah, that's another one. Don't lose the child within ever. That's in the Bible. Do not lose the child within. That's easy for me. I didn't have to read that one. Because kids are free. And that's the also new world order does not want you to be free in your thoughts, in your opinions, in your ideas. So it is better to die on your feet than live on your knees. Lisa, I love you too, though I don't know you. I do. I love people. That's why I do this. Oh. Nice picture. Send me an email saying I can use that picture. I'll use it inside of the next uh, couple of uh, emails I send out. And get everybody to sign up at GaryBrowski.com. They get a free audio just for signing up. Where'd Bo Johnson go? And he goes somewhere. Oh, smoke in the eyes again. Yep. Blue eyes, Lisa. Thank you. You're looking at me. <laughs> Oh, I like this one. Jackson. My friend stole my MK17 Plus. He's getting late all the time. I guess I'm going to have to buy another one. <laughs> Can you share it with him? What kind of friends do you have? <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> That's how good it is. Bo Johnson has a similar story. His, his friends took it. They're getting laid all the time. Bo gets laid on his own, but it's like, he can't believe it. So these two guys are like real dullards. Like, absolutely no personality, nothing. They get laid all the time. He just finds it funny. I know, I'm sorry, I can't play a song for you. I can't. You don't have any songs. I'm almost done with this, which means I'll be done with the show. That's how I time it. No, it's, it's it, it always works if you, unless you have no matches and time stands still. I cannot do that tonight. I'm also so sorry, um, but tomorrow, absolutely. This I cannot do. I'm giving you my reasons. That's just an imitation of Godfather. It wasn't really about any question. I just like to give an impression. I see a lot of requests for impressions, and uh, it's a little late in the day for that. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of private stuff going on here. Here's some advice. Seriously, on GaryBrassy.com, there's a link called Gary's Girls. Those girls are all real, all available. 
and a lot of guys I know are marrying them and having really good relations, really good wives at the time of their life. So you might want to check that out at GaryBrath.com, Gary's Girls. They're all over the world. They fly you out there and treat you like a king. And you can actually find a real life and have a real life and a family. And a family unit is a big threat to the new world order. So not only do you become happy, have a family, have a normal life, you stick it to the new world order. What, what more do you want? Oh, that too, huh? Okay, everybody. Hey, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, everybody, I mean, too many names to count. But this is on a nice full house here. And uh, I'll see you all on the Wednesday show. Uh, Bo, John, everybody, thank you again. And uh, have a great evening. I will be back again on Sunday. And good night, everybody. Thank you. Don't forget, GaryBrassie.com, BrainTrainPower.com, OccultForce.com, and WealthPlusPower.com. Thank you. Good night.